Daktronics Audio Standard Control Systems use the Shure QLXD wireless system. Control systems with wireless systems are available in any combination of handheld or body pack transmitters. The QLXD receiver's front panel is made up of the display, menu navigation and arrow buttons, the sync button and infrared window, status lights, and the main power button. The display shows receiver and transmitter status and settings, and receiver menu options. The menu arrow and enter buttons are used to navigate the menu. The arrow buttons also adjust the receiver gain when not in the menu. Daktronic's standard is to leave it set at its default value of plus 12. The audio LED indicates different audio levels. Green indicates normal audio levels, yellow indicates the signal level is approaching the limiter threshold, and red indicates the signal level has engaged the limiter to prevent clipping. Always run the receiver in the green and adjust the gain using the arrow buttons accordingly if needed. The RF LED indicates that a transmitter is on and communicating with the receiver. If this LED is not active, the transmitter is not powered on or it is not synced to the same channel. The sync LED indicates sync status. If this LED is blinking, infrared sync mode is enabled and the receiver is waiting for a transmitter to sync with. When the receiver and transmitter are aligned for syncing, this LED will stop blinking and become solid red. Before using the QLXD wireless system for an event, there are some important steps to take to ensure the best operation of the wireless system. When setting up, make sure your microphones will be operating within a 300 foot line of sight of the antennas. If this is not the case, either the control rack will need to be moved to another location, or an antenna relocation kit available from Daktronics must be installed to mount them remotely. After turning on your system, make sure any wireless receivers are powered on. If you have a single receiver, press menu, the screen will show the channel scan. Making sure the transmitter is turned off, press enter to do a scan. At the completion of the scan, turn on the transmitter, press the receiver sync button and align the sync window with the one on the receiver until sync good appears. If you have multiple receivers, press menu twice. The screen will show the network scan. Making sure the transmitters are turned off, press enter to do a scan and enter to populate the frequencies to any networked receivers. At the completion of the scan, turn on each transmitter individually and sync them up to their receiver. Once synced, turn on and test each microphone and verify adequate signal level shows on the receiver as well as the mixer. There are two types of transmitters available for the QLXD system, the handheld transmitter and the body pack transmitter. The Shure handheld transmitter provided by Daktronics has an SM58 capsule and is configured for AA batteries. To change the batteries and access the controls, hold the transmitter at the screen and twist the bottom portion to unscrew it. The Shure body pack transmitter provided by Daktronics comes with a lapel style microphone and a head worn microphone and is configured for AA batteries. To change the batteries and access the controls, press the side tabs on the body pack and open the cover. For additional information on QLXD operation and helpful tools, click here. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have further questions about our products, please contact a Daktronics audio representative. Feel free to view our other training videos available at www.daktronics.com/support. Keyword: Sports Sound.